Hello everybody, my name is Natalia and welcome back to Fitness Be Closet. So today I would like to share with you my sales. I think it's the first time I'm going to share with you how much I made. So this week was one of the best weeks ever. Uh, before I'm going to start, I want to just tell you, that's the part-time job for me. I have a full-time job and this one my side hustle and i see i think for side hustle it pays really good especially this week i'm selling on poshmark by mercari and depop i'm uh, going to different thrift stores i'm going to goodwill beans and i'm looking for clothes i'm selling uh, women's clothes shoes accessories and men's as well and kids also and now i'm looking for this stuff for cheap and then I resell it for a profit on those four platforms. So this week, week from October 2nd to October 8th, I had only 30 sales, but I made really good money because a couple of those items, it was really good profit. I sold uh, 14 items at Poshmark, 4 at eBay, 6 at Mercari and 5 at Depop. I, I think I'm I'm missing somewhere, so it's one more somewhere. Okay, so let's start with Poshmark. I'm going to tell you how much I sold this for and how much I made, and I'm gonna put a little picture on the side that you have some idea what I'm talking about. I'm having my uh, little notebook here, I have my notes and I have my computer open that I have some information to share with you. So let's start it. Okay, so let's start with the Poshmark. At Poshmark, I sold this uh, Chanel eyeglasses with the case. I found them at Goodwill Beans a long time ago, maybe like a year ago, and I listed them for about 250. I didn't know any information about those glasses, and it was some damages and some missing pieces. So one uh, person she offered me uh, 155 dollars, and I accept her offer, and I was so afraid waiting for those three days when she's going to accept it or she's not going to accept it. So I'm like, maybe she doesn't like it. Maybe she sees there's so many like uh, missing parts or something else. And I was like, oh my God, please accept, accept, accept. And she did accept and she gave me five stars. Thank you for that. So I sold it for $155 and I made $124 from this uh, uh, Chanel glasses. Next one, I sold women's workout bundle about 24, 26 pieces. I have this uh, pieces selling separate for 15, 20 dollars and I have this for years. So I decided, let me just put all these together and just sell as a bundle or I'm going to donate this. So I sold it in a couple of days. It was uh, like a, a Nike, some Victoria's Secret. Uh, it was one Lululemon piece inside, some Gymshark. So I listed for about 85 dollars and one lady, she offered me uh, 72 and I accept her offer. Uh, and I make $57.60. Next one, I have Express Woman's V-neck sweater. Each one was sitting about a year, maybe even more in my uh, <laughs> closet. I found it at Goodwill Beans. Uh, I sold it for full asking price for $22 and I made $15.88. Next one is a Gap sweater. It was a brand new stock from Goodwill Beans as well. The same like an Express. I think maybe they I even find them together. They were sitting for a long time. Somebody offered me $15. I accept the offer and I made $12. Okay, so next one is the best sell from this last week, past week. Uh, Saint Laurent sandals. If you remember, I have this video maybe like two, three months ago, one day at Goodwill Beans, I found this sh like a big designer's brand's collection of shoes. It was a two of those Saint Laurent, one of those was black, and then I have another one is a brown. It was a Jimmy Choo, it was Prada, Chanel, and something else. I sold Jimmy Choo, I sold another Jimmy Choo. Okay, so I sold this Saint Laurent. I listed them for 550 that she offered me 300 and I accept your offer. I sold for $300 and I made $242. I made it $240. Okay, next, the North Face fleece jacket, man's size extra, two extra large. I listed this for about $90 and uh, somebody offered me $50 and I accept the offer and I made $40. 
Next piece is a Lucky Brand Charlie Capri pants, uh, animal print. I have this for years as well. Uh, I sent her an offer for 21 and she accepted the offer and I made $15.08. Next one is a Zara Girls uh, top. It was a brand new stock. I found it at Goodwill Beans. I sold it for $13 and I made $8.33. Next one is a Timberland men's cargo pants, uh, also from Goodwill Benz. Sold it for $20 and I made $16. Next one is American Eagle women's jeans, high rise jeggings, distressed. I sent the offer for $21. She accepted the offer and uh, I made it $16.80. Oh, I forgot about this. I have another a Poshmark account, which one I opened a year ago, and I decided let me do like a separate account where I'm gonna sell only men's stuff. So first I was doing that and like, what's the point? I have one account and another account, and I just, you know, I just forget it about it. But it's still open, it's still active, and somebody buys shoes from me there. It was a men's shoes, which one I haven't for a couple of years, and somebody offered me like $23, and I accept the offer, and I made $18 for those shoes. Okay, so next one, we have a scotch and soda, also from Goodwill Beans. Um, scotch and soda men's sweater size two extra large uh, offer for $35 person accepted offer and I made $27.20 next one is a Madewell one of my favorite brands uh, Madewell uh, this one was from the store I think it's uh, from the rich community store and I paid maybe like three five six dollars around this range they sent the offer for $31, that person is accepted, and I made $23.08. And the last items I sold at Poshmark is at St. John's Port uh, tank top. I had it for a long, long time from Goodwill Bins, so the person, she sent me an offer for $25, and I accept her offer, and I made $20. Okay, so next we're moving to eBay. At eBay, I had only four sales. I'm working on eBay. Like, as you can see, my most my sales in a Porsche Mart, but I'm working to bring more sales on uh, eBay and try to go eBay more than Porsche Mart, maybe move to eBay. We'll see. Okay, I have only four sales. First sale, it was a cotton waist, woman's dress, size three. It's an oversized dress. I found it at Google Beans. Uh, I decided let me take it and try it because it's good size, probably it's gonna sell fast. And yes, it sold in a week, maybe even less for $16 and I made $14 from that. Next, it was a fresh produce woman's top, also from Google Beans, also sold less than a week. For ten dollars, and I make about eight dollars from that. Okay, next one is on the North Face jacket. Now it's a woman's jacket, full zip, green and black color, so size extra large. I found this jacket a couple weeks ago, and I sold in a couple of days. Uh, she sent me an offer for fifty-one eighty-five, and I accept the offer, and I made probably like forty-five dollars from this one. And the last piece I sold at eBay, it's this one, uh, vintage plate, I'm not sure if it's vintage. So I, before I was picking up, when I just started my eBay biz reselling business, I was um, trying to pick up different things to see what it sells good for me. I tried to find out what I can sell good. So now I'm just concentrated on clothes, but before I tried to pick up some plushes, I tried to pick up some plates, I tried to pick up some like different things just to see what sells good for me. And uh, after some time I realized clothing is the best selling items for me. So I decide, so I have this, a lot of like stuff like this, like the plates and glasses and cups. I decide to donate them. So I took this plate and I already put it in a box for donation. And maybe next day, I see one watcher looking at this plate. And I sent it, I listed this plate for about $100. And I sent the offer for $41, like 50% off. And this person accepted the offer, so I sold it for $35. That was a good sale. Okay, so now 
we moving to Mercari at Mercari I have a six sales at Mercari I saw this uh, cashmere sweater Goyo Mongolian cashmere it was a brand new stock I got the sweater at Goodwill Beans maybe uh, two years ago it was sitting for a long long time it's a really good quality cashmere I heard that uh, Mongolian cashmere one of the best so I would make I could make more money but this person offered me $44 and I just want to sell it because I have this item for so long time it's not bad so I sold it for $44 and I made it for uh, $38 and two cents okay next piece it's Adidas kids um, floral full zip jacket from uh, Goodwill Beans. I sold for $18 and I made $15 and 38 cents. Then we have American Eagle high rise uh, women's shirts. I sold them for $17 and I made $14 and 51 cents. Then we have this um, W5 Anthropology top, which one I had for a long time when I was about just to donate this, but she offered me $15 and I accept the offer. $15 and I made $12.76. Then we have this uh, Torrid Bikini Bottom, which one I found it maybe a week ago and it sold in a couple days. She sent me an offer for $15, I accept the offer and I made $12.76. And the last piece at Mercari, it was women's cashmere pants. The brand is Bob Basics cashmere pants, I small. I found them at Goodwill Beans last week and I sold them like in a couple days for full asking price, $25 and I made Mm -mm -mm. $21.47 that's all for me Akari. and now we're moving to Depop at Depop I have a five sales okay so first all these five sales all these items and I found maybe like two three weeks ago so it sold less than a month uh, first thing it was a princess poly body suit woman's bodysuit very nice very cute pretty I found it at Goodwill Beans all of those was from Goodwill Beans I sold for $20 I listed for $25 she sent me an offer for $20 I accept her offer and I made $16.92 next piece it's a woman's cashmere a J Crew sweater she sent me an offer for $22 I accepted and I made $18.66 next one is a Victoria's Secret um, bag tote bag which one I found at Goodwill Beans it's a brand new with stock it's very nice and very soft <laughs> so I listed for $35 for $30 so the person sent me the offer for $25 I accept the offer and I made $21.19 $21 next piece it's a wallet man's uh, cart wallet it was a brand new it was just the perfect condition inside but outside there was some scratches because it wasn't in beans with all this uh, junk so of course it's gonna have some scratches but i put all this information in the description and i listed for 25 dollars a person uh, offered me 20 dollars i accept the offer and i made 18 dollars and 85 cents and the last sales at Depop, it was uh, Levi's cargo pants from Goodwill Beans, which one was sold for the full asking price of $25. And I made $21.19. That's all for my sales. Now let's count how much money I made. Okay, so we have a 30 sales. We have a 15 sales on Poshmark. Four on eBay, six at Mercari, and five at Zipop. At Poshmark, I made $657.97. eBay, I made $102. Mercari, I made $114.90. 
and at Depop I make $96.81. So total is going to be $971.68 minus $30 I count for my custom goods, so average like $1. In total, it's going to be $940.68. That's the first time I made almost a thousand dollars for my side hustle resale business, and I'm so happy and I'm so proud. And I'm so I just I just see that my hard works, my higher hard work pays off. And when you see the numbers going up and you want to do more, it motivates you to move, to do more. So that's why I decided I have to change something if I want to make more. I want to make more, right? And I like what I'm doing and it's not like a, it's difficult to me. I know I can do it. So from uh, past a week, I decided I'm going to increase my items and I'm planning to list about 12 to 15 items a day, every day, not missing a day. Because sometimes, you know, when I just started, I was so motivating, I'm listing every day, I'm good for two weeks, then I got lazy, or then I got tired, I didn't post for a day, then I didn't post for two days, and everything goes to hell. <laughs> Algorithm, you have to list it every day you have to list 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 if you want to grow and i have to also i want to watch a look at my prices at probably at ebay i'm going to drop uh my prices especially items which one i have for a long time i want to drop my prices and try to sell quality uh over quantity on ebay so let's see so that's my goal for the next my next goal it's make about eight hundred to thousand dollars a week listed 12 to 15 items a day and let's see if i can do it that's all for today thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel put your fingers up thank you for your support and i'm going to see you next time bye